Today I'm going to show you the three functions of a digital multimeter. Uh, digital multimeter is used very, you know, very common to use a digital multimeter in automotive mechanics. The three functions are as a voltmeter, as an ammeter, and as an ohmmeter. So we'll look at voltmeter first. Some of the tests you do in uh, with automotive is, a, is an open voltage test on a battery. And to do that, you want to use a digital volt multimeter. If you look here, the settings, the settings are not totally obvious. We want to put the setting of a maximum of 200 volts. Here's a better look at the front of the uh, multimeter. And you can see DC volts on the left at the, from the 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock position. And you can see 1,000 on top, 200 and so on. So we want to choose the 200 scale. That gives us one decimal place, which is useful and not as confusing as the 200 scale, which would give us two decimal places, which we really don't need in uh, mechanics or in when you're measuring uh, batteries or um, things in, in mechanics. Now I know uh, automotive batteries don't go above 20, so the, the uh, thought is to use the 20 volt scale. But that gives you two decimal places, which is uh, just not necessary in 90% of the cases. So if you use the 200 scale, you can see that there's one decimal place. The uh, black lead is on common, and you can see the red lead is on volt ohm, volts and ohm meter setting. So with the 200 scale, we have one decimal place, and you can see if we went to the 20, there's two decimal places, so we don't want that. And the 1,000, there's no decimal places. So that's the setup of the voltmeter. Now I'll test the voltage of the battery, and you can watch the voltmeter. I'm going to put red to positive and black to negative, and we have 11.8 volts. 11.8 volts means this battery is not charged very well. That again, 11.8 volts. Now to set this up as an ammeter requires a little bit extra. First of all, we'll switch to the DC amps, which are over here, and we're going to go to the highest scale, which is 10 amps. Here's a close-up of the uh, scale. You can see the DC amps at the 4 o'clock position, and the 10 amps is the last choice downward. You can, you can read it there. And that's the scale we turn it on to measure amperage. But we have to pull this red cord lead out and put it in the 10 amp. Now that makes this meter very vulnerable to damage because there's no resistance in the meter now. As with a voltmeter, there was lots of resistance between these two, these two here, there's lots of resistance, meaning you can't do any damage. Between these two, there's no resistance because all the current when we're measuring amperage has to go through the meter. So if we put this across the battery now, we would blow the little fuse in, inside the meter. But I'm going to use a simple test light as the circuit. And we have it light up when I put it across the battery. And I'm going to use the ammeter as like a wire to make that connection. And we have 0.36 amps or 360 milliamps in that circuit. So as soon as you um, complete your test, and you may be doing a test on battery drain or the vehicle draining the battery and have to disconnect the battery and use the ammeter as uh, 
the cir to complete the circuit and between the uh, removed battery cable and, and the battery. This would become a wire and, you, and if it's draining overnight you would get a reading here. And there's a specification on that. Okay, once you've finished your test, take that out and put it back here so no damage can happen. And you can turn it off. The third way we're going to use the multimeter is as an ohmmeter. And we're not really uh, measuring precise amounts of resistance. We're more or less using the ohmmeter function to see if a uh, circuit is continuous. A anywhere from uh, a connector under the hood back to the uh, computer or through a relay contacts just to see if there's a, a continuous circuit. See the ohmmeter, you use the voltmeter leads uh, spot right here and of course black always remains in the middle and it relies on a battery inside the multimeter to uh, perform resistance tests. And the most common way of using the ohmmeter is checking to see if a bulb is good or it is not good. So what we want to do is see if current will pass through the filament because sometimes they're broken and then um, you know it's not apparent. You look at the the filament can be broken, but it's be so very close you cannot detect that the, the light is, is uh, working or not, or is good or not. So we'll uh, turn this on ohms, and it's down here, and we're going to go again to uh, measure a maximum of 200 ohms. Of course, you can't, you can't really hurt too much on the ohmmeter scale, so you can see the 200 ohm right at the bottom. Um, also, you can see a, a, a diode sign there right at 6 o'clock. So just, just before that on the right is the 200 scale, and that's what you set it to. But that gives us our, our um, fairly low resistance uh, testing in an automotive because most things are very low resistance in automotive application. So if we take a a bulb here and see if we can do this without dropping anything. And you can see that that particular uh, circuit is good, as is that one. So we know current will go from here to here through a filament and from from here to here, or from here to here. And if that's what we were actually um, uh, wanting to find out, we just found that out with the ohmmeter function. Remember to turn it off. Make sure that the red leads in the voltmeter portion plug. Let's wrap it up. As neat as you can. They always seem to tangle. and put it away. Thank you very much.